so at the beginning of every month, I start what I call my month page. Um, so this is a sample of what it might look like for January. And this page is basically a brain dump of all the stuff that needs to get done this month. And I'm not looking for incredible tiny details. I'm looking for just like the top level items. Now I like to have fun with this. So maybe I will put a donut um, sticker in the corner. And sometimes I give like a little tagline or slogan for the month. So maybe January will be the resolution revolution because maybe I'll be able to maintain my resolutions um, for more than two months this time. <laughs> so basically I'm going to start and I'm just going to write down everything I can think of that's got to get done in January. So I know an independent designer, Jane Doe, let's say I've got three patterns. I need to tech edit for her. So I do one, two, three. Um, a publisher I work for has sent me, let's say issue five. Maybe I have seven patterns to tech edit there. Maybe issue six, for some reason I only got five or four, you know, and I just kind of write that out. So I see, you know, this is kind of what I've got to get through. Um, maybe a yarn company sent me one. Obviously I'd write in the client names here instead of just yarn company or publisher, but let's say they sent two. Um, and I just kind of think, of like what else has to get done. Um, there's the craft class project for my monthly craft class I teach locally. Now there are a lot of details to getting that craft class done. Um, I'm not going to write all the details here. I'm not going to write, find the idea, order the supplies, make the sample, make the handouts. I'm just big thing, craft class project. And a lot of times I like to put like a little bullet point next to the item. Uh, let's see, I need to order business cards, business cards, updated ones. I want to publish the mitt pattern I'm working on that's crocheted. Um, obviously, there are a lot of steps to that. I need to finish up the pattern. I need to send it to the tech editor. I need to take the photos. Once again, I'm not detailing all the steps. I know everything that has to get done. I'm just reminding myself, oh yeah, this is something that I need to make progress on and that I want to accomplish. Um, let's see, I have to mail mom's birthday present. Uh, return some library books. And I kind of just like plop it all out. It, it's really just kind of a dump of ideas. Sometimes I do it on one sheet, it's a total mess, and then I write it nicely on the next sheet. Um, at the bottom, I'll usually put like next month. So if something pops up that I know isn't going to happen in January, but I need to focus on it. In February I can plop it down here and I'll see that when I do the February page um, I like to make a section of big goals and this is like two like overreaching items that I want to make progress on over this month that maybe like would for get forgotten otherwise um, so one of my big goals for the month of January is my CPE plan that's continuing professional education hours. Um, I'm a certified teacher and I need to come up with my plan over the course of the next year to maintain certification. Um, the other thing I want to do 
is bookkeeping twice a month. So I'm going to say like the 15th and the 25th. That sounds good to me. And so those are like my big overreaching things that like, hey, don't forget me. Um, because it's very easy when you have all this stuff for other people to kind of forget the things that are maybe important to you as well. So this is my monthly page. I add to it over the course of the month. So as things pop up, I come down. Now, the reason I like bullet points is once I start on something, I fill in the bullet point. So let's say I've ordered the supplies for the craft class, but I haven't made the sample. I kind of fill in the dot, and that way when I look at my list, I already see like, okay, I've started on this, I'm making progress. Up here, I can kind of check things off as I go. So let's say I started on a pattern, but I didn't finish it, I do a circle, and when I finish it, I do a slash through it. And so like, let's say for issue five, like I've worked on and finished three, but I've got two that are in progress because I'm like waiting to hear back from people. Um, and you know, once I'm done with the craft class project, then I'm just gonna strike it out, just like a regular to-do list. So this is how I set up my monthly paper, once a month at the beginning of the month, and next I'm gonna show you how I set up my plan for the week.